Hello, welcome to episode two of our Let's Play Starbound Volcano Colony, where we try to build an NPC colony on a volcano planet covered in fire and stuff like that. And also, as it turns out, a meteorite, which we discovered last time. Yeah, so n nothing survived from last time at all. Um, so this time we're going to build some slightly better houses using material that we gather from places like this, which are found elsewhere on the planet. Let's start killing, actually. Oh, there we go. Right. Yeah, so um, I thought about um, how to actually build a better colony, and one of the things I came up with is the idea of building a great big dome, or a shield of some kind, over the top of the colony, made out of some kind of material that's quite hefty and meteor-resistant. Um, somebody suggested in the comments of my last video that I should build underground, and I thought about that, but um, I don't like underground. <laughs> I just wanted it to be on the surface, where it's easy to get to. Uh, it adds a bit of an extra challenge, I think, anyway. Oh god, this is this is not good. I'm dying. Hang on. Uh, oh! Die. Oh, he's got a shield out. The prick. Die. Oh, sod it. Sod it. Die. Phew. Actually, that, I came very close to dying there. I didn't realise they had shields. <laughs> the NPC bastards. Ah, oh, the little tits. Uh, what's in here? Uh, a wizard robe top. Okay, um, I'll go with that. And a bit of cash as well. So I'm going to have to start um, taking some of this stuff. I need to make sure that I find certain things. Because um, if I'm going to if I'm gonna take some of these things to furnish one house, I also... Well, I could also do with getting a... Um, let's get the bog. A royal toilet. What I could do is getting... Oh, here we go. Um, I need to... Some display armour. Perfect. And because that means I'll be able to attract a guard to guard my um, colony. Uh, because for that, for a guard, you need... Um, oh, 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 oh. There we go. You need... Um, you need some of the regular furniture, but you also need something combat-y, uh, and also, optionally, something racial um, from one of the races. I th maybe if I just go for this, some of this glitch stuff, um, and I'll put that up and everything will be good. There we go. Getting lots of furniture. What I also need to do is start getting some bricks as well. Start tearing down the house. There we go. I'm... Is that lava up there? No, it's not. It's just the sky. <laughs> yeah, the sky on these planets are horribly red and disturbing. Uh, okay, so this is going to take some time. Um, I'll come back to this, actually, um, when I'm off camera, because otherwise you'll just be watching me um, <laughs> knock a house down for about ten minutes, and nobody wants that. I'll go and see if there's anything else around. Um, first of all, let me just um, heal up a bit more. There we go, looking inside the chest. Upgrade module, I've got a million of those these days. Um, I'm quite low on cash, I've got 3,000 or so, so I do need to make sure that I do pick up that sort of stuff. Um, nice little glow, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, this is a two-handed weapon, so I can't just keep a shield in my other hand. Worse luck. Oh, careful. And these are quite tough, these buggers. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this um, this this is a, a, a broadsword, which I, I picked up, I think, in the last episode. Um, but now I've actually started to use it, because it's got this wonderful uppercut secondary attack. The other one had that kind of flamey thing. But that wasn't great in combat. That was better for, like, just escaping out of places. Oh, hello. Is that even a guard? Apologetic. Oh... She's not going to talk to me. The prick. Okay, let's um, let's steal the furniture while she's not looking. Oops, that was full of stuff. Um, none of it important. Ah, right. Yeah, I haven't really been in one of these before, I don't think, these castles. There's lots of treasure. Oh, 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 oh. Um, oh, I got lost. No, no, oh, careful. I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my... Uh, boom! Boom. What do you mean you blocked it? You bastard. No, no, no blocking for you. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry, sorry, love. Um, you, you, you weren't aggressive, and now I've just tonked you. Sorry. Oh, where, where? Oh, 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 oh. Just shoot. No, uh, no, no, you bastard. Oh, combat is now harder. <laughs> God damn it! I am because this volcano planet is a, is a tier six planet. So th even though we've got good swords and things, they will put up one hell of a fight. Well, I've got some stuff. Um, that might be enough to get started with my colony. And what did I... How much of that... Um, 51. Uh, that's not much. Um, oh well, never mind. Let's go back to the colony. Well, I know what I'll do. I'll use that stone to build a shield over the teleporter, because that's some kind of very important. That'll keep that secure. Uh, and then I'll go back um, off camera and get some more stuff. Right. Yeah, it's raining fire at the moment. Um, thankfully, that's not too much of a stress. There we go. Yeah, meteorite rock does. Oh, 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 oh. go away, mate. Yeah, meteorite rock does. Um, once, once the meteorite meteors land, it does leave a lot of meteorite rock um, in its wake, um, such as that stuff there. Um, wonder how 
I wonder if it's actually defensive. I wonder if meteorite rock is so tough, it actually... No, it's not that tough. No, I can't use that as a shield. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. Um, just put it up. I don't, I'm not sure I need it to be that thick. Actually, I will make it a bit thicker. Um, I just need it to make sure that it, it withstands at least one attack. So it just keeps us a bit... Um, Give us a bit of a bit, bit of a wiggle room in case the worst happens. Uh, that's not very much, is it? Uh, well, yeah, it's not great, but it'll do for now. <laughs> this is a bit of a rough and ready job. Okay, I'm going to go back. To, uh, it's, oh God, it's to the right. I'm going to go back and get some more material. Oh, bollocks! That didn't work very well. Hang on. Oh no! Ow! I really should put a door in this thing. Uh, oh, solid. <laughs> I'll just go the um the quick way. Right, back down to the planet. Um, I'll just do a regular beam down this time, um, because this will land me to the right of the colony, where we... Oh, oh what? <laughs> what? Don't spawn there, you little bastard. Right, okay, so now I just need to go back to where I came from, i.e. that castle, and I'll see you again shortly. Okay, I've gathered a lot of stone. I've got absolutely loads of heavy stone brick, um, as well as loads of furniture, and um, plus, somewhere... Um, a bit of obsidian, but mainly roof tiles, small stone bricks, and window lattice. All stuff that could, m means I can recreate a castly type thing over here at the outpost. I'm really toughening up my shield at the moment. Let's get rid of him. Ha! There we go. And so I'm going to extend this a bit further over the entire um, would-be colony. Um, in fact, let's just do this. Uh, and reverse. Uh, actually, that's too slow. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just... Oh. Hope this, is, hope this is going to be thick enough. At least I'll be able to withstand one bombardment, uh, which will hopefully be good enough, because then I can just repair it and the cycle can begin uh, new. Where, where am I going? Oh, here we go. Um, not far at all, actually. Also, that's nice because it means underneath the shield I can also go into the mountain over here and do stuff if I so desire. Uh, there's another matey boy. There's a lot of these matey boys. Not too keen on them at all. Oh no, that's some. Oh, where's it gone? It just. Oh, it flew up into the air. Alright. Never mind. Uh, oh, he's back. He's back! Just sod off. There we go. Right. Just finish this shield, and we're all good. Uh, put that there. Can I put that there? Oh, that'll do. Actually, there's no point in putting torches on the top, because they'll only get destroyed by the meteors. Hup. Da. Da. Nice little door here. So, um, try and... Oh! Oh, yeah, the fire started to fall again. Okay, close that door. And hopefully, hopefully, um, when I'm down here... Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> the ruins of my old house. Yes. Hopefully when I'm down here, the meteorites won't just... Because because the, um, the shield is off screen, hopefully it won't mean that they'll, the meteors will suspiciously... Um, you know, jump it because it's not on screen or something. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> right, okay, so I need to actually make this a bit more homely now. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I think, um, because it's such a mess down here, that I'm just going to create a nice flat floor, possibly using castle stone again, um, because this is just a bloody mess. In fact, what might be easier is if I just go over the top of everything. Oh! Fuck's sake. Start again. I don't think I need it to be too thick anyway. So, let's go across there, jump across there, and off we go. Well, the fire is um, getting past the shield. Oh, that's really annoying. So, yeah, I'm a bit worried about this. I think there might be um, might have problems with meteors, even with the shield. Oh, let's get rid of that for now. Um, <laughs> I am conscious that even though I've got loads of stone from the castle, it's not going to last that long. Yeah, that'll do. Up here, up here, and this is all meteor rock, and also ash, or whatever the hell it is. Oh, it is actually ash, yeah. Oh, I don't like that. I think there must have been, um, I think the meteors must have taken out some wall and made all this ash turn into this, uh, kind of tumbling mess. Yeah, but look at this, this is fairly horrendous. Uh, never mind. I mean, this is all diagonal and stuff, I don't like diagonal. Yeah, right. So that'll, hmm, hang on. Needs to be a bit better than that. I think that'll do for now. Um, I also need to get rid of all this gunk. This is not going to be part of my future plans, I don't think. 
Oh, it's got a gun all dark. Oh, this is really horrible stuff. This Magna Rock d does not k destroy you easily. D d d d d to get rid of all that. Undoing everything from episode one now. <laughs> to hell with episode one. Ugh. Yeah, I think underground might have been a good place to um, build this, but never mind. A bit more light. These planets are just, just really feel very dark. Right, anyway. This is all... Oh, God's sake. Hang on. I don't like the fact that it's all wonky and stuff, so... Um, let's... Do that. Oh! Oh, this is going to need a, a staircase of some kind, I think. Do, do, So we can actually escape this godforsaken place when we want to. Go around the planet and do stuff. Uh, oh, I'm a bit too close to it there. There we go. Up and over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We need a staircase here as well, I think. I mean, it's, it's just a bloody mess. All right, let's do it there. Up, down. This is going to look great when it's finished. <laughs> Honest. Down here. Do, do, do. There. We can get up to the teleporter nice and easy now. I uh, just need to finish off the stairs here as well. Uh, put it there. And there. And also there. Bit of extra light. Oh, they're all uneven. Oh well. I'll have to live with it. With it. Okay, so now we build our first proper house. One that isn't just going to fall to bits within seconds. Um, so, I think... Um, let's, um, hmm, let's let's put all this stuff onto my hot bar. Because I will maybe do a bit of flourish here and there. Oh, actually, I probably do need that. Get rid of my bazooka -y type thing. Roof tiles, very important. Get rid of the bloody butter not fly net. For some reason, that's still on my bloody hot bar. Right, okay. So, I think it's going to be... Uh, let's have a look. Actually, yeah, let's make this the, the edge of the house. So this is kind of going to be like a escape shoot sort of thing of me. Uh, I'm not going to make necessarily individual houses for this colony, I think. Because um, that would... I mean, there's not enough space. So I think, first and foremost, we just need an, a perimeter. Oh, bloody hell. Get rid of that. And that. Uh, I'm going to run out of rock quite quickly. So I'm not going to make this massive. Let's make it that massive. Down there. Oh! Building. Okay, down there. Right, how many do I need? Actually, I don't really want. I'm going to use big rock, I think. Um, right click. There we go. So, where are my doors? My glitch doors. There. There they are. I'm really running out of space here. I think I'll just plonk them directly on the map. There we go. And there we go, we've got a massive great house now, um, which I can split up into different areas for more than one tenant. Um, possibly David tenant. Um, put the, keep it fairly simple. Um, I'll, I'll just put in all this crap first, and then I'll put in some windows afterwards. Oh god, I'm going to run out of this very quickly. Yes. Well, that's something anyway. Um, I think I might have to go back to the castle already, um, to get some more blocks, because... I'm running low already. This this is going to require a hell of a lot of effort. Right, some time later, um, I've, I've raided the castle again and also plonked down a flag at the castle so I can easily beam back and get even more supplies, as the fancy takes me. Make sure that all the background is covered, otherwise nobody will move in. I will actually need to put a door, um, I think. Oh, hang on, I missed a bit. I will need to put a door here, um, otherwise it might not count as a house, because there'll be a, a way out of the house. Um, it's the way it works it out, you know. Um, hang on, there's a slight problem with this because the door's too going to be too big, so I'm going to have to make this go down a little more. Uh, so there's going to be a bit of a, a kink in the floor, but never... Oh! I can't do things in straight lines. It's this bloody wireless mouse. I tell you, it's a menace. It keeps doing diagonal things. I'm blaming it, not me. So, no. Nah. <laughs> right. Um, yep, that should, that should easily fit a door. There we go. Oh, this is getting coming on quite nicely. Okay, so I will need to put in a second floor and stuff like that. Yep. And then put in some furniture. This'll... Ooh, yep, 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 yep. I'm going to run out of this as well. Oh, dear. Um, bloody hell, I mean... Yeah, I think I should have used the uh, the, the other stuff as background material. Because this is just... Um, 
I'm actually plowing through this stuff. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Okay, I know what I'll do. Since I'm about to run out of that any second. Oh, this is... <laughs> that's a menace, that is. Hang on, let's go down this way. Up, up, up. No, come back. There we go. Right. So this is going to have a... This area here is going to have a different background. Maybe I'll just make it one big wooden room or something. I'm um, speaking of rooms, actually, I better start doing this. Um, shall I make it... If, if I divide this into... I think I might try and divide this into three. I'll be a bit kind of um, mean with their space requirements. So if I put that across there, and maybe that across there, and put a staircase in as well, um, which way... I think I'll do it that way. Oh! Dicks. <laughs> Fiddly work, this. There. Plenty of headroom there. Uh, also, just for really minor reasons. There, yeah, that's you know, totally pointless, but never mind. <laughs> in fact, let's do that. Make it a bit more solid. There's a little gap in the floor, I don't like that. Oh, it looks all messy now. Oh, I'll clear that up at some other point. Right, so the background here. Well, let's see how much I can do. Oh, fuck. I put that in the foreground instead of the background. I'm not very good at building. Leave me alone. <laughs> right. Now it's gone into my depth in my inventory. There it is. Right. Right, mouse button. Oh, I've just... Oh, fuck. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Um, we'll make a big bloody mess. There. Right. Try again. Try and make this nice and even. Um, bit... Oh, no, no. Yes, perfect. I have a square. Um, hopefully this mega window will be all we need to do. There we go. A nice mega window. And um, plus I've also got a little left over, so let's... Um, let's do a bit of a window down here as well, just for style reasons. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There. Um, also need a bit of light. In fact, now we've got loads of glitch lighting stuff. Let's start furnishing... Oh, actually, this is not going to divide into... If I do a staircase, it's not going to divide into three, is it? Uh, I'll divide into two of them. Sorry. Uh, that can be a little one. Um, if I just... Hmm. I really shouldn't have done it like this. Um. Oh! <laughs> Sod. I made it confusing. Hang on. I know what I'll do. Oh, it's fire all over the place now. That's what even... What am I doing there? Eight. There we go. Right. So. Enough room for a door. I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough for a tenant. Um, but let's put a door in. And we'll see. Uh, door. Da, 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 da. Also needs a light source. One door, one light source is the minimum requirement. But also I think it's a space thing. Um, amount of space... So let's let's see what happens if I if I put in a colony deed uh, there. Is that big enough? It is actually. Hello, mate. Um, now fuck off. <laughs> I don't want you. I need to put some special furniture in there. So let's make this into. Hmm. Actually, give me a moment, and I'm I'm going to redesign this. Right. I think that makes it a bit more interesting. I've divided it a bit cleaner into three rooms now. I've got this slightly awkward thing going on over here, um, leaving this weird kind of anti-room at the bottom. Uh, so I think all I really need to do now is put on a roof, get rid of these, um, and duh, 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 and also furnish the place. So do this. This is more stuff I took from the castle. Gives it a nice um, hat. <laughs> a nice um, house hat or roof, as they're more commonly known. I've still got plenty left. Um, yeah, I think I'll do another layer. There we go. Also, if the worst does come to the worst and the meteors somehow get bypass the shield, it'll give me a bit more protection for the house. Hopefully the whole thing won't fall down this time. So, okay, let's see what furniture we've got. Let's try and get some kind of guard um, situation going on. Uh, I might need to get some um, tier furniture going on, which means I might have to go back to my ship. Let's see if I can do, do it with just what I've got. Um, possibly not. Let's put in some. Let's put in some of that. Put it nice and high up. What other thing is um, kind of guard-like? 
There, there's oh, it's another one of them. <laughs> um, there should actually be a suit of armoury type thing somewhere. There it is. Right, put that there. We'll also need things like a bed. So it would be a good idea maybe to get a crafting table on the go, if I've actually got that. Wooden crafting... wooden crafting table. <laughs> I mean, I should just go back to my bloody ship, shouldn't I? Yeah. Hang on. Right, so I need a bed. Let's go... yeah, let's, let's go back to my ship for a bit. Um, I might need to get some tiered furniture. Yeah, let's do that. Um, just make damn sure that I get a good guard that'll actually destroy things. Atomic furnace? I almost have broken something at some point. Um, hang on. That, I think, is supposed to go there. Yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, so let's have a look. It's around here somewhere. What I need. Um, what is it? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Ferosium uh, is what we're after. Oh, God, there's no space in any, anything. Right. Uh, go to this table. Oh, here we go. Yep, loads of stuff. I've only got eight bits of ferosium, but thankfully, for some reason, um, the, the furniture is dirt cheap. So let's see if we can actually... Actually, it needs... How many does that need? Two. Craft one of them. Door, I won't bother with. Uh, light, one of them. Console, yeah, why not? Is there a bed, actually? Make sure I can afford a bed. I wonder if there is a bed. Let's just double check. Oh, there's a frozen bed, but it requires fabric as well. Yeah, I do need that. Um, fabric. Where would I put fabric? It's not very useful. This is just an Ultra Gunk 3000. I, 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 I know, I know it's in here. It, it should be in here. It's not in here! Oh, don't tell me I have to actually just make some fabric. There we go. 191? No, 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 no. Just make 20. Good old loom. Right, here we go. Now, 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 we can make ourselves a tasty little... What? Oh! God damn my full inventory. And what can I get rid of? <laughs> One of these many, many bloody crappy weapons that I've picked up from killing matey boys at the castle. There we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> I forgot I got this. Hey! Right. Um, frozen bed. Uh, how much frozen have I got left? Probably not much. Um, not enough to build a table. I've got water. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> In fact, all the stuff's on the floor at the moment, isn't it? Let's get rid of some stuff. Um, a frozen light is what I kind of need. Oh, my. Uh. uh Oh, the, oh the, I still need to make that bloody um, um, kitchen-themed place, which I got from, which got destroyed last time. Um, don't need a hive bed. Don't need one of them. Stop the chest. Uh, I think that's enough. Right, let's go back to the colony. Volcano colony. And down we go. Right. Down here. Oh, that's more easy to throw the needle this time. Right. Okay. So, hopefully, if I put down some of this ferosium stuff... Let's do that. Put that over there. Um, put the bed in the cellar, as it, <laughs> as it now is. Um, ferosium console. Ah, I'll sneak that in there, because there's space. I didn't really get much stuff, did I? Uh... Oh! Uh, there we go. Let's, um, let's take down that torch. And light with ferosium instead. Um, so, in theory... If I now put a deed on the wall, um, we should actually get a guard. That looks like a guard. Chip Wind, the glitch guard. And he's already gone to sleep. <laughs> he's already lost interest. Good. Okay, cool. We've got, we've got ourselves our first guard. Um, that isn't as working as well as I'd hoped. Now, I'll put a, a, a bit of modern platform in there, hopefully, and, and put it over, over a pit. Precisely so the fire didn't actually do that. I thought it might go through the platform, but obviously not. Thankfully, it's not burning the door. Right, okay, so we need two more tenants, um, and then we'll, then we'll wrap up for this episode. So, what... Oh, yeah, let's make that kitchen-y type place. There's not that much room in here anymore. So, and let's, let's just do a, a second floor, like that, which means I can fit more stuff in. Put that in there. And this is deja vu all over again. Um, I, mean, I don't want to cover up that windowy type thing. I spent so much time doing. Uh, I'm not even going to bother putting a bed in this one. <laughs> I'm going to be a bastard. Uh, huh. um, th this is terrible. Oh, but yeah, I can put the basket and the bread. There we go. Um, slip in a little colony deed. Oh, don't think there's room. Right, okay, this will have to be a slight redesign. Let's, let's change that to putting a torch there. Put that there. That can be destroyed as well. Put that there. And go back to furniture. 
Right. Hopefully now... Actually, there's a wooden crate. I don't want that wooden crate. What am I doing? Um, hopefully now... Will that fit? No, it's the bread's fault. Ugh. Right. Sod the bread. The bread can piss off. Maybe I can slip it in um, there instead. Yes, there we go. Now I can fit in a deed. And hopefully it'll be that guy with the... Yes, there he is! Um, loaf of bread melty head guy. Um, who is who's the guy who gets attracted by that furniture. Cool, we're almost there. We've almost got ourselves a full house. And um, what kind of furniture shall I put in here? Oh, okay, all this... Yeah, all this stuff that I pillaged from yonder castle. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, maybe I should make this into a merchant place. Oh, look, there's a... There's, oh, no. Hang on. That's... I need to repair that, otherwise things will go south very quickly. Uh -huh. Use that. Six. And there we go. Right. So maybe I, sh I should have an extra bit of um, shelving here as well. Just a little bit. Um, get rid of the torch again. Just a little bit so, again, I'm not going in front of the bloody window. A nice little light source. Right. What else can I put in? Uh, furniture. Shelf up in the air, although that's technically part is part of the kitchen stuff. Uh, never mind. Uh, I don't want to put in any kind of um, armor theme stuff in case I attract another guard. I only want one. I was gonna, I could, have, I could still do a merchant, but I haven't really got any boxes. In I've got one box. Actually, that might be enough. Let's see what happens. Uh, that's really badly located, but never mind. What are you? Oh, you're a king. Okay, you're a king glitch. Yeah, because of all the the royal furniture. Okay, that'll do for me. That's quite nice. Um, we, we, we definitely need a merchant and a proper chef at some point, so we'll do that. Well, in fact, we'll have probably a few merchants, because they all sell different things. And there, look, that actually looks like a nice, proper house, pretty much. And there's only one bed in there, but sod it. They can bloody well all sleep together in some sort of bloody creepy three-way situation. Uh, oh, don't go into there. Are you all stuck? Oh, I'm going to have to repair you. Um, so, we've been very lucky so far. We haven't actually had any more meteor strikes, so we haven't actually had a chance to test the defence. Oh, look, there's creatures on top of the bloody shield. Bastards. Yeah, but I think we've done quite well. It's actually quite a nice-looking house, all things considered, and compared to the previous ones anyway. So this is all rather cool. Um, in the next episode, we'll build a bit more stuff to the colony, possibly attract some merchants, and also I want to go exploring underground for some micro-dungeons. Maybe we might find some more interesting furniture. Cool! Okay, so this has been a lot more successful than the previous episode. I think you'll agree. <laughs> so thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos in this series, and a lot more besides. And see you next time. Bye-bye.